This example for solving quadratic equations using the square root method. This is level one within the Delta Math online system. So the first thing we want to do is we want to isolate the binomial square by itself. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to add 33 to both sides of the equation. So then we have 5 times x plus 5 squared equals 35. Then remember, we cannot do distributive property here because the order operations, we have to do exponents first. So to undo the multiplication between the 5 and the binomial square, we're going to divide by 5. So divide by 5, divide by 5. So now we have x plus 5 squared equals 7. All right, now we've isolated the binomial, so now we can take the square root of both sides. Take the square root of both sides, you take the positive and negative root. So we have x plus 5 equals plus minus square root of 7. It's not a perfect square, so I'm going to leave it as just the square root of 7. Um, so now I can subtract 5 from both sides. Or what you can do is rewrite this as two equations. Um, so we can say x plus 5 equals negative square root of 7 and x plus 5 equals a positive square root of 7. All right, so now we're going to subtract 5 from both sides. And remember, you cannot combine the square root of 7 and a integer with each other. I think of them as unlike terms. Okay, so we're going to keep those separate. So we're going to get x equals negative 5 minus the square root of 7. And we're going to get x equals negative 5 plus the square root of 7. Now, if we're doing this in classroom or using a calculator, we could go ahead and get the uh, decimal number for uh, square root of 7. Go ahead and go negative 5 minus that number and negative 5 plus that number and get the approximate decimal solutions. But for delta math here, they want us to enter in the answer here. So let's do that. So we're going to say um, we want it to be negative 5 plus, we can do plus minus, so we can do both at the same time, square root of 7, right? This is saying negative 5 plus the square root of 7, and the other one is negative 5 minus the square root of 7. So we're going to use that plus minus key to save some time entering in our solution. Hit submit, and there it is.